So having some kind of downloads is a really great way to get people onto your list, right? Like it can be like a checklist, a cheat sheet, maybe some kind of like Excel spreadsheet, uh, a summary, whatever it is. But whenever people fill out that form to get that download, you have to send them an email, right, with that download. And this is the first email you send to that person. So I would say it's rather important that this is like a really rock solid email right that tells them what to expect and that they're in the right place. But I really often get emails like this. I signed up online for some kind of cheat sheet and I would get a really short email that just wants to get out of the way with delivering this download. So it would say something like, hey Emma, thanks for joining. You can download your cheat sheet here, and here this takes you to the PDF. Hope it's helpful. Now then some kind of signature and an unsubscribe line. And usually that is it. Nine out of 10 times, this is it. And I think if this is all you're doing, you're really missing out. So I wanna share the download delivery email that I'm using to yeah, get people onto my email list to give them like a warm welcome and to also deliver their download. So that is this email over here. As you see, it's a little bit longer, but still not too long, right? So here it says, hey Emma, glad you found me in this little corner of the internet. From now on, I will send you one valuable email every Tuesday that will help you to grow your online course business. I will explain this in a bit where it says that there. In the first couple of emails, we will focus on strategies to get more customers for your online course without sneaky sales tactics. I think you'll like it. And then basically here we have what was also in the other email, but then it says, but in the meanwhile, here is the active campaign cheat sheet you asked for, download the cheat sheet. I hope it's helpful, talk soon, signature. And then PS, what kind of online courses do you have? Just hit reply, I would love to know. So do you see how different this email is? So let me break it down for you. So this is basically the welcome. So this over here. So this will only be sent to people who are new on the list because you also have to think about what if people sign up for multiple downloads. Maybe you have like a checklist and a cheat sheet. What happens if they sign up for both, right? You have to think about that. So. What I did inside my email service provider, so I'm using ActiveCampaign. If you use something different, it's probably different. But what I created is this over here. So it's just a simple automation that whenever someone subscribes to a list, I add a tag that says status, new contact. I wait for 30 minutes and then I remove the tag again. And then what I do inside the email is I use conditional content to personalize this piece of text so that only this piece of text shows up whenever they are actually new on the list. Now then I would say here, here is the active campaign cheat sheet you asked for. So I would also include the name of that download. And then instead of only having like a really small call to action, like with the other email, right? We have this over here. It's like it's rather small. I personally like to use something that stands out a little bit more. So over here, I have just one big link that says download the cheat sheet. And you can maybe also experiment something with like maybe a button, maybe that would be even better. And then I hope it's helpful. Talk soon. P.S. What kind of online courses do you have? Just hit reply. I would love to know. So in this email, I think it's really clear what people can expect and also if these emails are for them. So somebody is reading this, someone who is selling online courses and they would get this like, okay, I will get one valuable email every Tuesday. So now I know I get one email every Tuesday, right? And they're going to help me to grow my online course business. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, that sounds helpful. And then here in the first couple of emails, we will focus on strategies to get more customers for your online course. And I'll be like, hey, this is like the exact thing that I need. So this text over here, and maybe you don't have to do this in your business, right? But in my business, because I do lots of marketing automation, it is valuable for lots of different people and relevant for different people. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to personalize this email based on what I know about someone. So in this case, this email was sent to Emma Doe. So we have Emma Doe over here. And as you can see, Emma Doe, specific product sells online courses. And the current struggle is I want to get more customers for my existing course. So I know these two things because after people opt in, so after they fill out the form, they get this page. Then it says something like your resource will be there in five minutes. 
and then I say, let's make it personal. In a few minutes, you're going to get the resource. But before my automations get to work, I want to make sure I'm sending you exactly what you need. And then I have this survey over here. And so many people are filling out this survey. It's really great. So here, whenever somebody clicks one of these things, I sell Diggle products. Then I ask, what kind of Diggle products do you offer? Now, then somebody would say, maybe online courses, right? And then what's your single biggest challenge with online courses right now? Now, and then I would maybe say, I want to get more customers for my existing course. Now, and then ask more and more and more questions. The software that I use for this is Right Message, super awesome tool. I'd really recommend to check it out if you wanna segment your email list. But so every time somebody clicks this, it immediately gets synced to the email service provider. So in my case, it's Active Campaign Right, but they also work with lots of different tools. So then all these fields, they will be filled with those answers. So here, online courses, I want to get more customers for my existing course. And then inside the email builder of Active Campaign, I can use conditional content to really personalize that email. I think that's really, really cool stuff. So in this case, it would say here, I will help you to grow your online course business because that's what they answered. If somebody would have answered something different, there would also have been different text. And again, maybe for your business, this is totally not necessary, but I wanted to share this, right? I think it could be quite valuable if you are in this case. And then I would have another sentence here. In the first couple of emails, we will focus on strategies to get more customers for your online course because that's what Emma answered, right? I want to get more customers for my existing course. If she would have answered something different, then again, she would have gotten a different email. So yeah, this is this download delivery email. So basically what you really need to include is a little welcome for people that are new on the list. And if this is a repeat download, if they download something for the second time, the third time, then you do not want to include that, right? Then you send them to the download, you have like some kind of clear, big call to action. And then in the PS section, you can maybe ask a follow-up question, something you wanna know. So I, for example, know Emma Doe sells online courses. So then I ask, what kind of online courses do you have? And the PS section, something that I'm also experimenting with, you can also use for different things, right? You could also say, for example, PS, I have a really great free email course for online course creators like you to help you to sell your courses more, something like that, right? And then click here if you wanna take part. So you can also use the PS section for things like that. But now I wanted to share this. If you want, you can also copy this example in the description of this video. And then I'll also show you maybe a second variant of this email, what would have happened if somebody would answer some different things. So that's it for now. And if you wanna see some other marketing emails that you might be able to use, then check out this playlist over here. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below.